Hey guys, my name is Boris. I'm a board certified physician assistant, and this is going to be a pre-PA Q&A. I actually have a question here from a Facebook group called uh, PA Students and Pre-PAs. I think it's called something like that. It's a great group, lots of support. People respond very quickly, and it's a great resource for people who are trying to get into PA school, and those of us, or those of you, who are new PA students just kind of trying to figure out their way. I'm not a PA student, I'm a practicing physician assistant, but you know, I only got out of PA school about a year ago, so I'm still pretty new, and I think I'm in a good position to answer some of these questions. So without further ado, let's go ahead and answer this question from the group. Obviously, it's from an anonymous uh, user because this is kind of a personal thing, so I could see why they wanted to shield their identity, uh, but this one got a lot of responses, a lot of, res um, a lot of reactions, because basically it's people just showing support to this person who's having a really tough time in PA school. So let me see if I uh, have any comments that might be able to help this person and anybody watching this video. So the person said, I'm in my third week of PA school and keep crying every day. I've never been this emotional before. I'm usually a tough, confident, happy person. Yesterday, I sobbed in my car after class because I felt so lost and confused. Last week as well. Is this normal? I'm scared I'm not going to make it through PA school if this continues. Okay, first off, uh, if this person happens to be watching this video, I doubt that you are, but anybody else that feels this way, and I promise you, you're not alone. I promise you, at least half the people in your class, even if they're not showing it, feel exactly like this. Probably much more than half, honestly. Uh, so, this person's in their third week of PA school. They're saying that they're crying every single day. They're usually confident, tough, happy, and PA school is just breaking them down. They are so confused, so lost and they're just you know, crying nonstop because it's so hard. And uh, they're saying, is this normal? Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna make it through school if this continues. My, uh, my response is, yeah, yeah, it's normal. It's totally normal. Most people in PA school go through some kind of a breakdown. And I don't mean like they just get a little bit of anxiety, a little bit of stress, you know, a little bit of like overeating or drinking a little bit more or whatever, like no. Everybody I know that's gone through PA school, everybody I know personally, myself included, okay, myself included, and just by the way, here I am on the other side, I got a job, I'm happy, I'm taking care of myself, I'm taking care of my patients, you know, I'm enjoying my job, making good money, I'm on the other side of PA school, only about two to three years away from where you are right now. And I'm telling you, I felt exactly like this. I don't wanna speak for really anybody else, uh, but for me personally, yeah, I felt exactly like this. And just like you, and me and like, and I don't know how young this person is or how old this person is. Most PA students are pretty much fresh out of college or close to college, you know, 23, 25, 26 years old. I was already 29 when I started PA school. I had been through the military. I had been through all kinds of crazy stuff. I had been through a post back at an Ivy League school. Like I had been through a lot. And PA school um, did break me down just like this. It wasn't necessarily like crying and sobbing all the time. Maybe once. I can't remember. I'm not a crier. Like, I've cried probably five times in my entire life. Uh, one when my dog died, one when my, you know, marriage ended, and one when, um, I don't remember. But basically, it's, I can hand, I can count all five on one hand. I'm not a big crier. But that being said, uh, yeah, like, I definitely did go through this. I did feel totally lost, totally confused, totally terrified that, you know, I've dedicated a decade of my life trying to get here to PA school and like, I'm just not gonna make it. There's no way, there's too much information. They're going too fast. Everybody here is way smarter than I am. Uh, I don't feel prepared. There's just no way. Like, I'm not gonna make it. What the hell do I do now? Where do I go? What's my plan B because I'm not gonna make it? You know, I felt that way. And by the way, here I am on the other side of it, having passed the pants on my first try, having made it through PA school, you know, having gotten my first job and doing well in my first job. So my point is, yeah. I felt exactly like this, exactly where you are, three weeks into PA school, and it does eventually get better. It does eventually feel like you can kind of keep up, even though you always feel like you're kind of playing catch up and you never feel like you know enough, because you never know enough. You just never do know enough. In medicine, you never really know enough. That's why we have people that we refer to. That's why we work as a team. That's why we have a collaborating physician. That's why we have other PAs that we can talk to. Medicine is a beast it is an insane amount of knowledge and what they're trying to force into your brains as quickly as possible is just enough to not be dangerous just enough to know where your limits are 
just enough to take cage to take care of patients at a basic level and know when you just don't know enough and you need to ask somebody that's it okay you don't need to know everything nobody knows everything physicians with 50 years of experience you know since they were 25 until now they're 75 they don't know everything okay so PA school is just trying to force as much of that knowledge into you as possible to see what sticks for you to not be dangerous to you for you to know what you don't know that's it okay so looking at it from that perspective I hope puts a little bit less pressure on you to like know everything all the time at the same time no just learn what you need to know for the next exam and move the hell on that is it and eventually after doing that over and over and over and over and over again I promise you eventually you'll realize oh crap I know some stuff you feel like you know nothing until you take a big test and you're, you're like oh wow I know some stuff you know and then you don't think oh I know some more stuff and then you get into rotations and you're like well I guess I know a little bit and then you start working and stuff starts coming up again and again and then suddenly it's wow maybe those two years of PA school actually taught me something but you don't really feel like that until school is over you know the dust has settled you've taken your pants and like just the crazy stress has kind of worn off a little bit and you get to actually focus and think and focus on yourself just for a second finally after school is over and then you're like wow I actually know some of this stuff you know so I don't know if any of this is helping or making sense but my point is yeah three weeks in that fire hydrant of information is just at full blast there's no mercy at this point you've made it and there is no turning back you have to just trudge through it you know uh, going with that metaphor of the fire hydrant it's just firing information at you and you're just walking with your head down like through a rainstorm just trying to hold on that's what it's going to be like you know that's what you're in for and that's how it has to be that's what separates you from people that are not going to be providers providers are held to a different standard we are a different breed not because we're special not because we're extra smart but because of what we were forced to go through in our training as providers you know physician assistants doctors nurse practitioners we are different because of our training we are different we are respected uh, because of our training because of our ability because of the things that we know because we were subjected to what you're being subjected to right now having that information all that crazy information forced into you and this is just what it feels like and I promise it's gonna get easier not because it actually gets easier but because you just kind of get used to feeling like this uh, like you just can never catch up like you don't know anything because you just realize you don't and you're not gonna catch up you're gonna learn just enough for the next exam you might forget everything the next day but I promise you some amount of it some level of it sticks and that it's just enough to carry you through the next exam and then it's just enough to get through the next exam and then it's just enough to you know do okay on the pants and then it's just enough to start clinical practice you know it's just like that's just how it is okay so that's one side of it so this is normal the other side of it is me included I don't know anyone who didn't have some sort of emotional crisis breakdown problem uh, substance abuse whatever like some sort of personality disorder pop up like out of nowhere I don't know but like some kind of major issue in PA school you're not alone it's totally normal so for me personally I'm not gonna throw anybody else under the bus for me personally I developed severe crippling social anxiety during PA school and I mean I don't know I can geek out and theorize why because I was kind of going through a divorce uh, I was going through the you know disillusion of a seven-year relationship everything that I ever knew and held dear was going down the tubes while I was in PA school so there was that uh, in addition to all the monumental academic pressure that you know very well about whoever wrote this uh, this message so like there's all of that but I just remember like so like me personally I've never been like a super extroverted very social person but at least for the last few years of my life including when I was in PA school and before that I had been fine you know I had been able to make friends pretty easily keep them I had, had good friends most of my life you know never like a huge group but I've had at least a few good friends uh, most of my life and like I've never really had just crippling social anxiety I've never been the biggest like party guy in the world probably more so now than ever before honestly but like you know I'd never been I'd never had like terrible social anxiety and I remember this one time walking into our classroom there's 75 people sitting there uh, you know 75 seats so I don't know maybe half the people were there 30 40 people and this one guy uh, that I'm you know somewhat friends with now just like got like really high energy it was first thing in the morning and he was just like super high energy super bubbly super happy 
and he was like, hey, what's up? And like, he made some funny face or he was dancing. Or it was like 7.30 in the morning and he had no business doing this, but whatever, he was just being a friendly guy. And I remember I just froze and I literally hid my face. Like I was walking to my seat and I literally had to like hide my face. I was like, dude, I don't know. And like, like I was defending myself against an attack or something. And it was the first time I had felt crippling social anxiety. I just wanted to crawl into a hole. I just didn't want to be there. And then like reflecting on that later, I was like, what the crap? Like I've never ever been like this. And uh, I don't know, just the pressure of PA school plus what I was going through personally just finally got me. And I experienced some very, very severe crippling social anxiety. And yeah, I mean, PA school broke the crap out of me, you know, just to build me back up later, I guess. But yeah, my point is, yeah, you're gonna go through some stuff, uh, mostly just because of the severe pressure and academic stress that's put on you. And it's just, it's normal to be broken by it. And I have faith in you. If you were strong enough, if you were competitive enough to get into the school, then I and all of your classmates and all of your professors and your director and everybody at your PA school and your future patients and the world that needs you to stay strong and get through this, we all have faith in you that you are gonna pull your head up. You're gonna get the help that you need if you need help. And you're gonna get through this and you're gonna get through school and you're gonna be an amazing provider, okay? So whoever wrote this message to the group, I hope you got the support that you needed. I hope you stay strong. I hope you don't quit. And I hope you get through PA school and I'm gonna see you on the other side, okay? Hope this video was helpful. Have a good one. I'll see you guys in the next video.